I was wrong in doing what I did. No, 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 no. Are you listening? No, I'm 87. Sean here, the horny, lorny, hallelujah. His lies are marching on. I'm going to hell. Lorny, lorny, hallelujah. All right, he did that. Never mind. Almost choked to death, so I had to start over. I mean, I was coughing. I almost threw up this bad. Anyway, moving on. There are two types of liars misrepresenting the truth and straight up fabricating. Misrepresenting the truth is a broad statement, and I'm going to keep it broad for a reason. I'll start with the buddy stories in the Marine Corps, because I think it highlights who Lauren is. And I know some of this is a bit of a retread, but I'm trying to make a point. So, misrepresenting the truth is, when you're out in the field, you've got a little sterno stove, and there's apps, we didn't have cell phones, we didn't have jack squat back then, we were isolated from the world. I mean, anybody was in the military can tell you that. So you're just sharing stories, and you heard a story, Sharon, hey Sharon, you heard a story that somebody else told somebody else, but you're sitting around this little stove and you're bored, and these are your only friends in the world right now and you're just trying to get through the night maybe you feel so good the next day after you've shared all that stuff together so you're telling the my buddy stories you don't really know them they're not really your buddy it's not really your information to own but it's something you wanted to share and making it a little more personal it makes people listen a little closer and the next time you hear somebody talk and they're telling something about somebody else that they don't know, you're at work and you hear, hey, you know Bud down in so-and-so? Not really. Well, I heard from Janet that he did this thing and you just shake your head and like, oh my God. But if your friend says, or your good acquaintance says, hey, you know my friend Bud down there? His wife died. Or, you know my friend Bud down there? Yeah, they were really messing with him and he finally had enough and he said something and you're listening and you might even have a little more empathy towards Bud who you don't even know. And it's because they made it personal. They gave it a connection to you. Lauren doesn't have connections. So any story, we know the one story he told and we know, we know he owns information. I told you when he was, we all got our information about Paula and they all matched up and Lauren was just a guy just a girl, wait for a guy. <sighs> anyway, moving on. Lauren's at the bar and he hears information and it becomes his, becomes his information because they wouldn't have said it if they didn't want him to hear it. Think about that. She gave him her number. But I know she knew I was listening. So, I knew she wanted me. But anyway, Lauren's one thing he said was, put it this way, my cousin in California had Berkeley, a and Tech, MTU, ATT, A&M has 4.0. Okay, Lauren, uh, what does that have to do with anything? I'm just letting you know. Now, he didn't go out and gather that information because he doesn't care about anyone else. Somebody else gave him that information. You know it. I know it. But he decided to take it. He didn't call. It would have been his sisters or brothers and he doesn't pay attention to what anyone else says, unless it makes him mad and he can use it against him. Lorne also misrepresents the truth by putting duration on something. Always, constantly, never. You know that. Somebody doesn't like something you're doing and he's constantly, constantly making mistakes. I had a friend who worked with me, really good friend. We still communicate on a daily basis. And he made like, two mistakes, like little, little bitty numbered mistakes, not, not even a big deal, just put the serial number on something, and they're like 15 characters, and he got them out of order, right, because he was writing them down by hand, and so what did this asshole do, constantly, he's constantly making mistakes, and I corrected him, just like I corrected the teacher who said my son was constantly doing something, do you know the definition of constantly, Mrs. So-and-so? So he's coming there every day and he's doing this non-stop. I'm sorry my son's behavior is an inconvenience to you. It just, it makes me angry. And I don't like people who put durations on things and I try to catch myself. 
if somebody really is always doing something, making the same mistakes, you want to clarify and say, in those situations, you always, you seem to always, it appears that you always choose the wrong direction. That's fine. That's fine. You're trying to make a point, trying to make a statement. I get it. You want impact. Lord doesn't do it for impact. He do it. He does it to divide. Emma, she is always doing this, always doing this. When he's always doing this, what do you mean? Giving you advice? Trying to help you? Trying to tell you? She's always changing it up to me. You're always changing it up to me. And we know he is the freaking one that's always changing it up. He's always turning it around. And I, and I can say that. We can say that. That's what he does. It's who he is. Uh, and if I wanted to clarify, I would say on the calls that I've heard, he is often doing it or seems to be always doing it. Warren has no subtlety, no nuance. He can't do that. But in most cases, we know he's straight up lies. You can hear him pause and you can hear him, his little 56K modem. You want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? Hello, everyone. But you can hear his little 56k modem brain going off. And you can just tell. Here we go. Here comes a lie. Well, you know, the basketball team. And Warren's lies, maybe. And I thought maybe at one time that he was just created this world where what he wanted to be the truth was the truth in his head. And I think in some ways it is. But to be honest with you, when it comes down to it, he doesn't have a truth. Think about that. He doesn't have any truth in his life because he refuses to accept reality as it is. So every time he speaks, every time, and I know I'm putting an absolute on there, but every time he speaks, it's his version of reality. So he is misrepresenting the truth. He's not lying. He is when he says I never meant to go there. But I also feel I also feel that it could be misrepresenting the truth because he's convinced himself that is the truth. So he's presenting his truth. Like the hip thing now is my truth. This is my truth. Okay, that's great. Fine. Anyway, moving on. Your truth does not belong in franchises that once loved. Moving on. But Lauren's truth <clears throat> is a misrepresentation of the facts and the truth. I hope that makes sense. It's not like the My Buddy. We're just trying to pull each other closer, entertain each other, laugh. Just get your mind off where you're at. No, no, no. Lauren wants to get your mind off where he's at. Let that sink in. He wants you to forget where he's at. He wants you to think he's somewhere else. He's at a better place in his life. I mean, the whole thing about being in debt and building up his credit, oh my God. That was one of the craziest things I've heard from him. I mean, the fact that this man gave access to his bank account to somebody he doesn't really know, it just says a lot as to who he is. It's scary. So when it comes down to it, when we are talking about Lauren, when we're talking about what he does and who he is, we don't really know. Omission of the truth, that's something he's good at. The whole, I went down there to stare across at her with, with just romance in mind. And we just wanted to see each other, meet each other's gaze. I mean, there was a funny South Park where Shelly finally met the guy that she'd been talking to online forever. They didn't say anything. And as soon as they got back online, it was like, oh my God, I love you so much, you're the greatest. I don't think that was the case with that. And Lauren lying, that was a lie. Wasn't misrepresenting the truth. That was a lie. And it, it was one of those lies that was, it was just an agree, egregious, it was blatant knew it was false. I'm trying not to muddy the waters here. Now, misrepresenting the truth would have been, oh, we just happened to be at the fair together. Oh, you were at the fair together. 
it's a lie, but you're just telling your version of the truth. You're telling what you want us to know. It happens a lot in politics, especially in the media. You don't get the truth. You have to dig, go out and look for yourself. At least I hope you do. Because I started doing that two years ago and couldn't believe what had been going on on all sides. So fact checking, fact checking is definitely something you would have to do with Lauren about everything. And that is why these catfish, Casey, you know, Blue Boy, and you've got Heal Lauren, and you have Ramona and Emma and Tiffany who would have refused to not to let him get by with this bullcrap and who called him out and who tried to use Bax to get him to fess up to things and he just wouldn't. Bax didn't matter. His feelings matter. I think that's the scary part about Lauren is that Bax, they don't matter. They don't matter. That's not my truth. That's just what you read on the internet. That's just what you found. All of that stuff, is it's bullcrap. I mean, it's gaslighting in the highest order. You know, don't, don't believe what you see. We are at that point with our government. Don't believe anything you see. If you've ever read 1984, that's the final step. What you're seeing, it's not real. And there are some people who believe it. And that's what Lauren wants you to do. He wants you to say, I don't believe it. You know, I, I don't believe it. I know, I've seen it, but I don't believe it. That's something you say, you know, like Tony Stark, uh, seeing, working on believing. I mean, being able, finding something so ridiculous and still accepting it is like cult behavior. And I think Lauren wishes he had a cult. Somebody please confirm this for me, if you could. There are one or two, maybe three people right now who are talking with Lauren in real life. Somebody who has a connection with him, please check. I believe we have more more traitors in our midst. People who just want to talk to Lauren and say they've talked to Lauren and help him keep that lie, that illusion going that he's innocent and that people believe he's innocent. Anyway, Lauren is a liar. And we know he's a liar. And the whole mud pie thing, I, we can't even verify that he was out playing butcher shop with mud in the forest. Or when he was singing, how many people he was singing to. If his grandmother actually liked his singing. If he actually got second or third place in karaoke. Put it this way, I'm the greatest singer in the world. We can't verify that. And with Lauren, if you can't verify it, just, just assume it's a lie. And I can hear Lauren saying that, you know, assuming makes an ass out of you and me. I can just hear Lauren talking about it. When you assume things, put it this way. If you're a girl, and I'm a guy, and your grandmother made cookies, would I be able to eat one without milk? Think about that. So anyway, <clears throat> talking about misrepresenting the truth, it comes down to taking little bitty nuggets of things and piecing them together into what you want people to believe happened. Lying is when you take nuggets of truth that are usually true and you just blatantly say that never happened. That did not happen. This is what actually happened. And it's nothing like the truth. That's why misrepresenting the truth is so dangerous. Using information as a weapon just enough information to get people to believe it, to believe the lie. Whereas with the lie, most people will realize, I can't verify the existence of any of those things. So no, Lauren, I don't believe you. Especially when my radar detector is going on. And most of us know the difference. We know when something is twisting the truth and we know when something is the opposite of the truth. It is built into our DNA, most of us, unless, you know what, even if, even if uh, you are a liar, you know the difference better than anybody because you know how to manipulate people with that stuff. Lauren will remain one of the worst human beings in history, and that is no lie. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one.